sea dragon. A ship with this keyword printed on its deck plate card is a sea creature. A sea dragon has a base move of D, meaning that it has unlimited movement. It ignores all terrain, islands, and ships when moving, but cannot end any movement overlapping a ship. When a sea dragon is given a shoot action, we may choose whether that action is a normal shoot action or a swoop attack. It cannot perform both as a single action. A swoop attack allows the sea dragon to attack any one target, including submerged ships, within L plus L of its base. Roll a d6 on a roll result of 4 or higher, the swoop attack is successful and it eliminates up to 2 mass on the target. After resolving the swoop attack, place the sea dragon as close as possible to the target without touching the target. So, there's only like 3 or 4 sea dragons in the game total. Uh, I've got the cursed one, Shell Bal here, or one of the cursed ones. So for example, the guns aren't in range, and neither are this ship's cannons, but then it can swoop because it's with an L plus L um, of the ship. So then you could roll a die and I got a one. So the swoop would not be successful, but then you would place it right next to the ship. Um, this one, this is keyword that's really interesting. It's pretty unique. They can fly around um, with the dragon movement so they can fly anywhere on the map. So in that case, they're better for attacking small gold runners that are otherwise hard to catch, especially because sea dragons, they have four, um, you know, segments for cannons. So if you don't want to use the swoop attack, you've got four guns, which unless you combine it with an admiral's action or micron, uh, sea dragons really aren't viable for going up against larger gunships because they won't be able to get the first shot. And then they'll probably be decimated before they can do much uh, to return the favor. Um, and then, I haven't really used them too much. They haven't been super effective, but I guess in larger games you can afford the cost more, and they're a decent way of going after small gold runners. But other than that, uh, kind of a novelty, fun piece rather than you know a devastating offensive unit. So kind of cool, but uh, kind of tough to use.